Hey, it's Jones Law from helping you make the best choices with your time so you can thrive. I'm here with two of the many trees that I'm growing this year. This is a swamp chestnut oak I started from seed, and this is a red maple that I dug up from the woods to uh, help it grow more efficiently and so then I can move it later. For some reason, I'm drawn to this swamp chestnut oak. I'm not sure if it's because I started it from seed, I like the growth habit, I just can't quite put my finger on it. But I'm noticing that, that it, it always gets water first when I'm watering my trees. Uh, it's the first one that I check to make sure it's thriving uh, whenever I'm making, you know, checking trees in the nursery. Um, in the same way, I think as leaders, we tend to show favoritism to certain people on our team. We've all done it. Maybe it's because it, their personality connects with yours. Maybe it's because of a work ethic or uh, some past history that you have with them that just cause you to have a stronger bond with them. Showing favoritism as a leader is dangerous. It demoralizes others on your team. It creates mistrust and it causes other team members not to be willing to grow in a way that would help the team be successful. If you sometimes find that you show favoritism to some of the people on your team, here are three suggestions to minimize those opportunities. Number one is to always explain the why behind your actions. Verbalizing it will help you to make sure that you're dealing in facts and experience and not just personal preferences. The second thing to do is to work hard to make a personal connection with every member of your team. Um, if they know that you have their best interest at heart, that you want to know more about them, then they're less likely to feel like you're favoriting one team member over another. Also for you, when you find common ground with that other team member, it's easier for you to be willing to make them a part of a smaller group or to give them an assignment uh, because you know them personally. The third key to minimizing opportunities for favoritism is to remember that seeing is believing. Track for one week the time that you spend with each one of your team members and ask yourself, am I showing similar styles with every team member or am I favoriting one over the other? When you're in meetings, make sure you're getting input from all of your team members, not just the ones who speak up quickly and maybe give you the answer you want. This is Jones Loft, and I hope it's a fantastic week for you where you're equally growing all the members of your team. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today in the Jones Zone.